Hey everybody, Josh RV Nerd here to Hewlett RV of Coldwater, Michigan, and a pretty cool announcement from uh, Keystone recently, specifically from the Cougar Department, though I know for a fact what I'm about to share uh, applies to more than just Cougar. It's actually been on the passports previous to that. They are um, uh, using or beginning to uh, adopt the use of composite materials in certain areas of their construction. Uh, it means things like can't rot mold mildew in certain areas, lighter weight, um, and uh, if that sounds familiar to you, it sounds a lot like Asdell. It's because it's a very similar thing to that. Actually, the material in question here is an old name in the RV industry that vanished and came back, and I'll explain that uh, in a little bit if you want the history lesson. We'll talk about the benefits of it first, but it's called Similite, and uh, it's a. it looks like black plastic, um, but uh, it's something that can be used as a Luon swap material. So, like, this is actually a sidewall cutaway. This is a piece of an ultralight inch and a half wall. This is not, ex this is not to do, like, this isn't from Keystone. This is just an object that I had laying around the office, but will serve as a, a good enough visual. So, like, if you look at this, you can see Luan bottom, Luan top. We're going to pretend this is the floor, because specifically, that's where Keystone's using these composite materials, is in their flooring. Um, in a normal Keystone laminated floor, uh, you'll have... Uh, a uh, a Darko weave underneath, which is that black plastic looking stuff. It looks like, this is a terrible way to describe it, but you'll know exactly what I mean. A woven garbage bag. <laughs> that sounds awful. You, again, you get it on the bottom and it actually wraps over the side of the floor and it's, it's there to be kind of like a moisture barrier. Then on top of a Keystone laminated floor, there'd actually be two layers of Luan and they would be instead of being stacked perfectly on top of one another, they're going to be offset, kind of like a brick layer, so that there's always a, um, uh, a strength below a seam where they meet. Well, what they're doing, um, and it's basically been, passports have been this way since about June, and Cougars adopted it around October, and they wanted to make sure, they did it in very limited production at first, and then it worked. The bomb never went off. They said, great, we'll go ahead and make the announcement, we'll really drive forward with this. So, Keep in mind, what I'm describing to you, we already have passports, cougars, etc. in stock on our lot with the Similite material. So instead of that Darko weave around the belly, there will be a roughly this thickness of Luan, but Similite underneath the floor. What that means is it's going to look like this underneath instead of looking like a garbage bag. It's going to look visibly very good. Now, most of the time, you're not exactly looking at the bottom of the floor because any product this applies to has at least an enclosed belly. But if you're looking in the like the in a fifth wheel up under the baggage compartment, the pass through, you'll get to see something nice now instead of something that looks sort of sort of like a garbage bag. It doesn't look like raw exposure. Um, then the top layer, instead of a dual leaved uh, or interleaved rather Luan. It will be just a thicker layer, about twice the thickness of this, of that Similite. Now, what that means is you have a floor that is now lighter weight, not exceptionally. I want to keep that in mind. But on, say, like a 30-foot Cougar travel trailer, it will shave a little over 100 pounds. But it all adds up. I'll save any weight anywhere that I can. Um, <clears throat> but you're going to be asking naturally, you know, so... If it's, this all sounds a lot like Asdell saving weight, rot proof, mold proof, mildew proof. Why weren't they just using Asdell on the floor? This is a very, this is the thing. I've had videos where I've made talking about plywood versus OSB or Asdell versus uh, wood or whatever. Different materials have different benefits and different drawbacks. There are instances in which OSB is better than plywood in RV construction. There are instances in which wood, even Dreaded Luan is better than Asdell in RV construction. And there are definitely instances in which that's not the case as well. There's certain areas there in which different things work better. So one of the, like Asdell's great at saving weight, rot, mold, mildew proof, etc. It runs a little bit more uh, cost than Luan, but um, you know, there's peace of mind to it and there are benefits to it. So sometimes that cost is worth it to a client. One of the things with Asdell, though, is it lacks the screw retention qualities of wood materials. So if you screw through it, it's easier to shear and rip that screw out of a sheet of Asdell than it is wood. That's why you don't tend to see it used in floors a lot. Additionally, on a horizontal span, 
Um, things like Asdell, an excellent material, has a slightly lower horizontal, like load bearing capacity versus wood. Well, when we're talking about an RV floor, which all of the walls, all of the everything is built on top of the floor, you don't want to sacrifice any level structure because if it's like, if you want a good house, you start with a good foundation. I say that in my videos all the time, same kind of thing. Well, that's kind of one of the differences on Simlite. Now there are things I don't know at the time of this filming. And I apologize for that. I get information out as I can and I try to uh, update later as I go. What I don't know is what is the cost vector delta difference between Luon, Asdell, Simulite? I don't know that. So please keep in mind that is a piece of information I'm lacking currently. Um, and that could help explain uh, a, a couple things as to why it maybe isn't used whole hog across the RV. But one of the cool things about Simulite is that it does have better screw retention, not just than Asdell, but even wood. So um, it saves weight, peace of mind, can't rot mold, mildew, uh, you know, and holds together better, stronger material in the construction. Awesome, those are all good things. I suspect it's probably more expensive. But so uh, circling back to the beginning of the video, I said this is, Simulite's not new in the RV business, it just vanished for a while. So why, why did it vanish? Well, um, it was coming out, um, it was starting to be used quite a bit. It was, I was seeing it used a little bit in toy haulers. They were using it in the um, uh, ramp doors of toy haulers for a little bit to keep the weight on that laminated ramp door down so you weren't like heaving this thing up in the air. Um, and then all of a sudden it just kind of got gone. Well, the automotive industry basically found it um, I know Ford was one of the major manufacturers that jumped all over it for a while, and I believe they're still using it. But um, basically they said, uh, hey, we like that. Um, we have deep pockets and we will buy all of the supply of this stuff. Now, whether they've stopped using it, changed materials, or there's more um, availability, more supply from the suppliers now, again, I don't know that. It doesn't matter the why the fact is that it is being used in the rv industry again today so it's a cool material um oh and i'm sorry i got i got way off track there so it's being used in the rv industry again today and it's kind of funny it's because of simulite that we kind of have asdell because when simulite left it sort of left an opening where uh it was proven the rv industry the manufacturers were willing to use these more modern composite materials in certain cases but there's no one to supply it. Well, kind of developed and became uh, the, the route for Asdell to come around. And that's why Asdell just sort of showed up out of nowhere because it was right about the time another supplier sort of vanished. And there is a little bit of an interchange period in there, but that's the, the brief history of this. So now we have various wood materials. We have Asdellish materials. You know, we have Simulite materials. So we have woods, we have composites, we have aluminums. Uh, all of these things are cool. All of these things are the best in different ways. There are different things different manufacturers can do to ensure a quality product. There is more than one way to skin a cat. It's funny because I actually heard uh, one of our contacts from Rockwood talking to one of our contacts from the Coachman Apex uh, Ultralights. And these are two brands that are laminated that are ultralights. Um, and Rockwood was saying, we've played with Asdell and we use it in our GeoPros but we're finding it doesn't have the, um, when they laminate to test walls, they will take uh, like where they route out a baggage door, they'll peel it to see if like, is it holding the way they want to? And Rockwood said that um, when we're using Asdell, it's within acceptable tolerances. Like we're not unhappy with it, but we're getting better strength ratings when we laminate with Luan. And the Coachman Apex guy went, that's weird. We find exactly the opposite. So, it's different people have found different ways to construct RVs and there's more than one way to do it nicely, more than one way to do it well. Now we have more materials that can open new doors, but to potentially cause some additional confusion out there as to, well, which one's better? Why don't they just use it everywhere? Different materials are better in different areas. So kind of a little introduction or reintroduction in a sense to Simulite for those who haven't been around the RV industry for the last 10 years like I have. And I think it's cool to see it back. I 
I like at a glance when I, when I see new stuff like this, I go, oh my God, this is just going to complicate stuff for buyers. It's going to complicate things for my sales team and my service staff every day. Now there's one more question, one more material. It's less obvious sometimes, but I also love it. I love that this is not like this industry is not just riding on the status quo, that there there's groups that are willing to forge forward, who are willing to push ahead and be innovative. And I love it. I love that it's changing every day. And then again, maybe that's because that's how I, you know, make my income by putting out these goofy videos. <laughs> so as always, whatever the case may be, take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.